start so I can edit it. Um, okay, so excited today to be at Three Dog Bakery in Lohi with the owner, Mandra. Um, I am a personal uh, customer of the store and love it so much. Belle loves to come for her, you know, monthly bath and treats. So super excited to learn a little bit more about this business, why it's so special and unique to the Lohi neighborhood. And for all the dog owners, you guys should definitely um, make sure you check out Mandra in the store if you haven't. Yeah, so Mandra, why don't you tell us a little bit about why you opened the business? Sure. Um, well, I used to travel all the time for work, so sometimes I was only home four days out of the month. Um, I kind of became the problem solver for my company, and it just got exhausting. Um, I really wanted to do something more creative. I wanted to be a part of a community, and so I really sat with it for a little while, and um, this kind of was the perfect combination of a lot of those things. Um, it's very creative. I'm definitely a part of the pet community, which is always so fun and welcoming, and um, it got me home for a little while. So that's kind of what brought me here to the Three Dog Bakery business. That's awesome. And what is something that people don't know about the business that you would want to share? Gosh, um, I think one of the biggest things is we really do make everything from scratch. So we take great pride in the treats that we put together. Um, you've seen some of the fun ones. Summertime's always fun because we have so many different, really unique offerings. For pride, we have so many fun things. For every holiday, we take a lot of time in our craft and we bake it from scratch. So everything's limited ingredients. It does take time and we do it right here in our little shop. So. I think that's the first thing is that we really do take the time to craft and make everything. I think the other thing is um, most of our vendors and a lot of the people that we work with are also small businesses. Awesome. So there's a lot of small woman owned businesses. There's a lot of small family businesses. So we know the story of you know why the company started and what they did before and kind of what all these vendors bring to the table. We have uh, some local vendors. We have some great um, you know small farms there's just a lot that goes into it and we take the time to learn about our products so if you ask us hey you know where do they get this from we can be able to comfortably answer that and we've tested it on all, all of our pets as well so you know all the shop dogs get the hookup because they get to try <laughs> everything before we sell it and we have long conversations with our vendors to make sure that you know what you're taking home to your pets is something really great and there is a great added value to bring it home to your fur family that's awesome and what would you say or what do you think your customers say that they love most about the store um i hope that they would say they love everything um but if you're asking for a real life answer, <laughs> you know, I think it's really fun to be able to celebrate your dog's birthday. Um, if we've learned anything from the last couple of years is sometimes it's just really great yeah. to celebrate the small things. So being able to come in and celebrate your dog's birthday or celebrate that cancer free day or, you know, someone, if they get a new dog, um, get them a gift or if they're closing on a house or just really something special that you're bringing to your neighbors or your friends or your family on a regular basis. So I think people love coming in and looking and seeing what we created. Um, you know, oh my gosh, there's little hamburgers for dogs. Or, what are these chicken and waffles? Those are really cute. So I think that they would say that that's maybe something they like the best. Um, I would hope that they would also say that it's being a part of our family and vice versa. Um, you know, coming in with a new puppy and getting to see them grow and learning about them and helping them. Or, you know, when they get a brother or a sister and they bring <laughs> that little pup in also. Right. It's just really that relationship. It's just yeah. really so special to us. Yeah. Yeah. And what I've noticed, because we've been coming with Belle for, she'll be three in August, um, so like two and a half years we've been coming. You know us now by name, you remember her. I'm sure you see tons of other Bernie's Mountain Dogs, but you remember Belle. Um, so it's nice to have a local store that you can come to where you feel like the people know you and remember you. Of course, we love Belle. <laughs> um, and so what are your goals for the business over the next year? Whew, this has been, it's been really interesting. No one opens a business and puts a pandemic into their <laughs> business plan. Um, you know, we've really been on our toes. Uh, you know, surviving COVID, the employee crisis right now, there's just so much that's going on. Um, every day, you know, we're just trying to make the day special for our customers. Sure. 
Um, our goals is, you know, we're just, we're, um, some of our goals that we're trying to do is we're trying to grow our base of customers. Uh, we love the neighborhood and that's our first priority because we're here. But there's so many people who I think still haven't discovered that, you know, we bake and decorate on site. We have all these birthday cakes. We're right at the, we are just trying to get over the 300 cakes a month. Okay. Um, so that's one of our huge awesome. goals is we really want to sell 300 cakes a month. Um, we really want to grow some of our events and some of the fun things that we do. Um, we do a barbecue box for the 4th of July. We do a Thanksgiving <laughs> meal for the dogs. We do a really cute brunch for National Brunch Day. We do an Easter brunch. We do so many fun yeah. things. Um, so we definitely want to see and make sure that a lot more dogs are able to celebrate with us. No, that's awesome. And what made you choose Lohi as the neighborhood to open your business? Is there a particular reason? Um, it's a funny question. People <laughs> have asked me that before. Uh, my background is marketing, but there's no marketing data that shows you the largest concentration of dogs. Right. <laughs> so I didn't really know what to do, and uh, so I counted dogs. So I would come at all hours of the day. I would grab a glass of wine. I would grab a sandwich. And I would sit outside and I would count dogs. And I would interact with dogs. And I would see where people were out with their dogs. That's great. Um, and read the different data and information. So kind of the Cheeseman Park, Cap Hill area used to be the most densely populated area in Denver. And that shifted. So even in the three years that I've been here in this neighborhood, it's changed so much. There's been so much building. Right. So now I think this is the most densely populated yeah. area in Denver. Yeah. So for me, I wanted to be a part of those daily walks. We wanted to see the same dogs on a regular basis, mm -hmm. be a part of that community. So when I sat out there with my glass of wine <laughs> or my cup of coffee or whatever it was, this was the area that had the most dogs pass by yeah. on a regular basis. I mean, it was a smart decision. I do. <laughs> I agree with Mandra. I think it is the most densely populated neighborhood and there's so many, you know, homeowners, but also rental buildings mm -hmm. and tons of young people moving here who have pets and yeah. Denver's a very pet friendly city. So it is. It's, it's super fun. Finding a place was a little <laughs> bit tricky. So that Not was sure. a different headache. That was <laughs> drinking wine for different reasons. Yes. No, that makes sense. Definitely. Um, and why do you think it's so important to shop local? What's special for you about that? Gosh, I mean, now owning a small business, I really, really try to go out of my way and support local businesses. There's so many reasons. Um, you know, we are the ones that support the local rescues. We support the local charities. We're the ones that partner with so many other communities and touch factors here. When you shop local, that money 100% stays local instead of going somewhere else. Um, I also hope that the experience is better. Again, like you said, if you come in, we usually know the dog's name, we can help you. We can have a face-to-face -face conversation if there's something going on with your pet. Right. Um, but it just, there's just so many reasons. And if it doesn't continue to happen, if people don't continue to shop local, those businesses are gonna go away. We've already started to see it here in the Low High neighborhood. Um, but for sure, if people don't continue to shop local, it won't exist. And your only option is going to be the yeah. big box stores. No, which would be sad. very sad. So let's shop local and stop that from, from being the case for sure. And then anything else you want to share or anything exciting that's coming up at the store? Yes. Oh my gosh. We always have fun and exciting things happening. Um, we have our three year birthday coming Yay. up, which is huge. <laughs> we have survived and we're so thankful for all of the people who have supported us. So June 25th is our big um, three year birthday party. Uh, and then in July, we're partnering with a local rescue awesome. and we're doing an ice cream sundae social. Oh. Um, in August, we have Bella Palooza, which is another really fun event. And then the event that everyone talks about <laughs> all year long is Growloween. So that's October 15th, which is a Saturday. It's trick or treating around the neighborhood. So we get a lot of those other local businesses to partner with us. It's super fun. But again, all throughout the year, we're doing um, different little meals for dogs. We have seasonal treats all the time. We can always personalize a handful of items on site, but we always have really fun things for Belle and fur families and friends and family and just tons of things. 
so we post it online. You can pop in, you can call us and ask us, but we always have fun things going on for all of our fur friends of Denver. Yeah, awesome. Well, Mandra, thank you so much Very for welcome. talking today. And if you wanna learn more about the store or grab a coupon and come in, you can learn more at parkbench.com backslash Highlands. Thank you. Thanks.